So for today's episode of The Case Journey, I got a special one from you guys, from the folks over at Spigen. Now, I went ahead and picked up not just one, not just two, but three of my favorite cases from Spigen for the Pixel 6 Pro. So we have the clear ultra hybrid. We also have uh, the thin fit in the building as well. And last but not least, the liquid air. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at all three. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what I think of all three of these and which one I would personally rock on my Pixel 6 Pro. But before we get into it, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, this is Ike's Tech Talk, where we cover the latest in tech news, reviews, and discussion. If that's something that you're interested in, do yourself a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so here we go with the Spigen Showcase. So as I said, you got the Ultra Hybrid, the Thin Fit, and the Liquid Air. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it started right with that clear Ultra Hybrid. Normal Spigen packaging, so nothing special there. Go ahead and toss the box off to the side. Get your little pamphlet on the inside, just advertising their Arc Station, which if you don't have one of these chargers, I do have one. It's actually really, really dope. It pretty much works for, with all of my Android devices and using the right cable, it works with your iPhone as well. But here is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid, the clear version. Now you can get a couple of other versions that have like the uh, colored bands around. I've seen like the black uh, Ultra Hybrid, that one looks pretty dope. But me personally, when it comes to the Ultra Hybrid, I always tend to stick with the clear model. So. Let's go ahead and get these tabs off there. And then the one on the back too. And there you got it, got that nice clear. Oh, just dropped the box over. We got that nice clear. Let's go ahead and throw the Pixel 6 Pro in there. And I'm rocking that D brand um, black, or the D brand robot uh, camo. And as, as the name <laughs> advertises, you got that clear window right into that um, right, right, right into the D brand robot camo. Wow, words are hard today. <laughs> so, like I said, looks really, really good, man. Um, the back too, I thought it was gonna be more of like that kind of plasticky feel, but it feels closer to like what the sides feel like. So, this is really, really clean. Um, the buttons, y'all can hear that. Super tactile, feel really, really nice. Buttons feel great. And like I said, just overall, a nice kind of thin profile, slim, uh, clear case for the Pixel 6 Pro. Uh, this one doesn't have kind of the edges that round into the uh, display like the Rinky one does. The Rinky one, I kind of like that one just because it has that. And it makes your swipe gestures a little bit easier to get to. So maybe I'll go ahead and grab the completely clear version of the Rinky one. But this Spigen one, just did a screenshot there. But this Spigen one is actually really, really dope. Like I'm, I'm liking this a lot. And you can see more of like the robot camo since it is the clear. But again, this is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid Clear. Go ahead and pop that joint off. So we can get into the next case, which is the Thin Fit. And I actually ran the Thin Fit as my primary case on my Note 20 Ultra. So that was quite some time ago, but the Thin Fit has always been one of my favorite cases ever since then. So more paper, same exact card as before. And again, here's that Thin Fit. You got a nice kind of polycarbonate textured feel here on the back and then like, kind of like the more flexible sides. So let's go ahead and get the Pixel 6 Pro in this. All right, and that feels really, really solid too. And oh, the Ultra Hybrid does as well, but you can see it a little bit more clearly here. But you kind of have that um, kind of protrusion there for the visor. So if you do lay it down on the table, you don't have to worry about your camera shelf hitting the table or anything like that. They also do have the more pronounced corners. So if you lay it down that way, you got nothing to worry about on that side. So you're good overall in terms of protection, but yeah, thin fit, feels super, super good. Buttons are really clicky, sound awesome. We're good to go. Nice little kind of weird matte grippy kind of texture there. So definitely like this case a lot, man. Super dope. I might have to add this one to the rotation, but let's go ahead and get into this last case. 
And keep in mind too, the speaking, some of the speaking cases have like this little panel here where you can add um, some of their magnet accessories. So just keep that in mind. But this one is the liquid air speaking case. Throw that off to the side. And like I said, I chose these three cases mainly because they do offer like a thinner profile. And if you know anything about me in cases, you know I love those minimalistic, thinner profile cases. I'm not really one for the super rugged or bulky. So have to go with the thinnest I could find from Spigen. And these, like I said, were the three that I were I was interested in the most. So like I said, this is the liquid air. Looks really, really clean, super thin. Buttons feel good. Feels like I need a little bit more force than the other two cases here to press the buttons, but still feels good nonetheless. I do like that the power button has these ridges here. So that way you could actually uh, feel the difference between say your power button and your volume buttons. Here's the back of the case too. Have that nice textured material for grip. You got some grips here on the side as well. Camera visor is protected. So when you lay that joker down, you are good to go. So like I said, guys, these are the three cases for the uh, Pixel 6 Pro that I decided to pick up from Spigen. Um, in all honesty, I like all three of them. If I honestly had to only choose one though, to be 100% real with you guys, I'd have to go with this Ultra Hybrid. Just something about rocking the clear case and having that D-brand skin on the back just always looks super clean and super dope to me, man. So to be honest, this will probably be the one that I personally will rock. Um, this versus the Rinky Slim mat. I do like that the Rinky Slim kind of has that nice groove here on the side. So it's a little bit easier to do like your, your back swipe gestures. I mean, it's not hard to do here with the, um, it's not hard to do here with the um, Spigen Ultra Hybrid, but like I said, just having that little protrusion in there just makes it feel just a little bit better and just like a little bit more attention to detail. But Definitely still a dope case, man. I really, really like this one a lot. So out of these uh, three, I would have to go with the Ultra Hybrid, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Between these three cases, man, if you could choose one, which one would you guys pick up and why? Like I said, guys, I will be dropping a link down in the description. So just in case you wanna pick up any of these cases, you will have links to all three. So definitely go and show Speaking some love. They're always doing it big in terms of offering cases for pretty much every phone that comes out. So shout out to Speaking, man. Like I said, guys, Speaking Showcase here. I'll drop the links down in the description box below. All right, guys. So that was the Speaking Showcase with the Ultra Hybrid, the Liquid Air, and the thin fit, but I wanna know which one did you guys like the best and which one would you rock on your Pixel? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, this is Ike's Tech Talk. Thank you so much for watching as always. Have a great day. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.